You know, I think that we talked about this uh, in a tip just the other day. Uh, we just kind of added it in. But what advantage is there to standing up while fishing? Good morning guys and girls, November 7. November 7, we're gonna be looking at 1 John 4, 4. 1 John 4, 4. <clears throat> God's Spirit, who is in you, is greater than the devil who is in the world. That's a big one right there. God's Spirit, God's Holy Spirit, that you received as a gift from God when you're saved, is in you. And it's greater than the devil who is in the world. Greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. That's where that scripture came from. Let's see what I wrote about that. Occasionally someone gets into my boat who is particularly foul-mouthed. <laughs> really foul-mouthed. Little, what do they call it? Potty mouth or something they call it? This is a little rare, but when it happens, those words really do stand out. Every time they say something, it's like, it's just like a bright light goes off or something. Usually that person will apologize, but will continue to slip from time to time throughout the day. It's pretty safe bet that God's Spirit does not live in that person. It's a pretty safe bet that God's Spirit does not live in that person. Now, I wrote that as my observation, and some of you might be out there saying, Ooh, my goodness, I've got God's Spirit in me, but I talk pretty bad at times. Well, I'm just saying, that's my opinion. <laughs> But even if God's Spirit is present, which it is if you're saved, I mean, it's just absolutely there 100% of the time. Not 98, not 99, but 100% of the time. If you're saved, God's, present, God's Spirit lives in you. I believe the devil is constantly trying to push God out and claim a little bit of territory for himself. I know I let the devil win some ground at times. We all do. The problem is, if we let the devil get his foot in the door, He'll try to kick the door down and take over your whole house. He'll try to kick the door down and take over our entire house. Thankfully, we do have a weapon. That weapon is God's Spirit. The same weapon I was talking about. The weapon that God put in us, he put in here as a weapon against Satan himself. And Satan will go running time after time. You've heard me mention one of my favorite Crowder songs, Run, Devil, Run. Run, devil, run. You can make the devil run. As powerful as the devil is, you can make the devil run by using God's Holy Spirit, which he guarantees he puts in every single Christian when you're saved. This is a great, great, great scripture right here. God's Spirit is in you is greater than the devil is in the world. Use it to your advantage when you're attacked by Satan himself. Satan is the most powerful demonic angel ever. And yet you have power over him because God gave you his spirit to put right inside of you. Here's our tip for this week, uh, or today. I'm sorry about that. Here's our tip for today. At least I remembered it. <laughs> I forget it occasionally. Here's our tip for today. Standing up while fishing will allow you to see more underwater cover. That's right. It allows you to see more underwater cover. You will see a little stick down under the water, maybe two or three foot down or six inches down or whatever. You'll see a stump or a log or you'll just see a dark spot in the water. Anytime you see any of that kind of stuff, that's what you want to be throwing at. Those kind of structures are the kind of structure where you catch bass off, uh, off of and really big ones. And a lot of times you'll catch bass there maybe right after a boat has just gone down through there and didn't see that little stick or rock or dark spot in the water. Might be a little piece of grass or moss. All kinds of things. Standing up will allow you to see that. You know, one of the reasons uh, some of the taller guys have an advantage is the same reason. If I'm standing up at five foot 10, I can't see as well as a guy that's standing up at six foot 10. <laughs> and I've actually fished with several guys that are six foot 10. Most of them have played in the NBA or still played in the NBA right now. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. And remember, I love you.